From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Presented by UK Federal Credit Union. Welcome to BBN Tonight. I'm Anna Tarullo. And I'm Josh Berry. And tonight, the NCAA says they might start enforcing some rules and NFL rookie minicamps have started. That's right. And I talked to softball head coach Rachel Lawson ahead of the Cats' bid to bring home an SEC championship this week in Gainesville. Now, let's start tonight with the NCAA trying to pour some water on the four alarm fire. That is abuse of name, image, and likeness rules. They have issued some new guidance on the NIL laws that went into effect last summer, trying to clarify their stance on pay for play through so called NIL collectives. That's tonight's big blue story presented by CHI St. Joseph Health. Now, long story short, the NCAA says you can't pay recruits to come to your school and that these collectives have to follow the same rules as school boosters. Board Chair Jerry Moorhead, president of the University of Georgia, issued this statement. Today, the Division I Board of Directors took a significant first step to address some of the challenges and improper behaviors that exist in the name, image, and likeness environment that may violate our long-established recruiting rules. While the NCAA may pursue the most outrageous violations that were clearly contrary to the interim policy adopted last summer our focus is on the future so it sounds possible that some of these schools could face penalty Anna. I've been waiting for this to happen, but I find it hard to believe that they would uh, put up penalties now on things that they didn't even give you a rule for <laughs> last summer. So good try, NCAA, but we'll see where they take it from here in terms of guidelines and regulations. The SEC softball tournament starts on Thursday for Kentucky since they secured the four seed and a double bye in this year's tournament. Here's a look at the bracket. Kentucky will either play Florida, Texas A&M, or South Carolina at 5 p.m. Thursday afternoon live on the SEC network. But it's probably going to be host school Florida. If that is the case, it will be the second straight year the Cats will have to face the host program in the tournament. The one seed is Arkansas, which is also there on Kentucky's side of the bracket. The Cats lost the regular season series to the Hogs last month, two games to one. I had the chance to talk to Coach Lawson yesterday. All right, Coach Lawson, you all are a four seed for the SEC tournament and earned a double bye. So you'll either play Florida, Texas A&M, or South Carolina on Thursday. Anyone in particular you're hoping to get? Well, you know, we'll play anybody at this point. So really excited the postseason's happening. But, you know, we're assuming it's Florida because, you know, it's hosting in Florida. I, I have a hard time believing they're not going to make it through that game and play in front of their home crowd. That's what I was wondering. Since you're in Gainesville, could play the Gators. Yeah. Is that a situation you'd particularly like to avoid or it just doesn't matter who you get at this point? You know, the SEC is so good, it doesn't matter. You know, there's the home team. There's kind of an excitement when you have a huge crowd at the games, even though they'll be cheering against us. But it, it still brings a lot of energy. So kind of looking forward to that game. Oh, I love that. Now, you got two big wins over South Carolina this weekend, despite kind of a slow start. What kind of significance does that performance have as you close out the season and head into tournament play? Well, we've been a tough team all year, and to start slow and then just to be able to have such a dominant offense in games two and three were awesome. And, the, and then we had great pitching outings as well in the second two games, and I think to take that momentum into Gainesville is big for us moving forward. And it really has been such an interesting year, kind of up and down at times. If you could describe mm -hmm. the season so far in just a few words, what would you say? You know, most of the time people say the SEC is a grind, and I don't really feel that. But this year, I would say it's a bit of a grind because we've had to be resilient so many times. But I love that our team's fought through it, and, and we continue to do that. And I think it shows a lot about our character. Oh, for sure. And with those ups and downs, do you feel like you're peaking at the right time? Oh, I don't know. I'll let you know this weekend, but I, I think so. You know, we have a, we have a habit of being really tough in the postseason. I'll tell you who is speaking at the right time right now is Kayla Kowalik looks amazing. Kafa looks great. And, you know, Tatum Spangler on the mound just was outstanding a regular season. So can't say enough about how well they're playing right now. So hoping that they can propel us moving forward. Absolutely. There's so much talent on your all's team. I feel like that is something you can always kind of rely on, whether you're going through an up or a down or whatever. There is great talent on your team. So traveling to Florida, you're there now. You said you came straight from South Carolina. What's the vibe right now as you all prepare to start the postseason? Well, you know, there was a little bit of a like, okay, we're just going to chill for a second because everybody had finals. So that that was something. And so now that we're out of finals, this is this is like the one time all year as a softball player, you you know what it feels like to be a professional athlete. You just ended school. You're now in the postseason. Someone's picking up your meals and you're chilling. You're sleeping in and then just going to the ballpark in the afternoon, playing some games and turn around and doing it. So I think they're just enjoying being the pros for a little bit. I, th I think it's an awesome experience. Oh, definitely. That sounds like heaven. I bet they're loving 
over that. All right, oh, yeah. how would success in the SEC tournament set you up for nice placement in the rest of the postseason? Besides winning it all uh, down there in Gainesville this weekend, is there any kind of specific goal you're trying to get this weekend in Florida? You know, you just always want to hit your stride when you're going into the postseason. I, I don't know that anybody's position, you know, the NCAA committee is meeting this weekend, and I think their minds are probably, they're probably already kind of set on their bracket with the exception of a few tournaments that if, if there's an upset or something like that. So I don't know that anyone's position will change so much maybe if you can like catch a couple of games and win the championship that might give you a bump for hosting a regionals or something like that but really you just want to take the momentum because at this point in time softball is such an awesome sport with so much parity kind of doesn't matter who you play and, and you just got to play your best game at the right time good stuff well coach thank you so much and good luck this weekend in Gainesville all right thanks appreciate it Man, I love that Coach Lawson. She is definitely not scared of a challenge. I like no, how she, she wants not. to take on the home crowd. What a great atmosphere that will be. In, I love what she had Gainesville. to say about those Gators, though, yeah. too. Just to take them down. Okay. Florida State grad here. I definitely support, <laughs> definitely support that. Coming up next on BBN Tonight, UK Sports Video is taking us back to the best weekend of the baseball season so far. A look back at the series win over the top-ranked Tennessee Volunteers when we come back.